body of the Ford Fiesta II is subject to corrosion. Traces of rust can be found on the rear wheel arches, sills, and in the engine compartment near the A-pillar cups. Salon, as a rule, is well preserved. The heating system seems to be specially created for our climatic conditions and will not let the driver and passengers freeze. More often there are cars with gasoline units with a volume of 1.1 liters. Fiesta motors are quite noisy. The timing drive for all units, except for the 1.6 liter one, is carried out by a chain, which, as a rule, nourishes until the engine is overhauled. The motor resource of 1.1 liter units, most of which have already been repaired, is very small, 150 to 200,000 kilometers. A 1.6 liter gasoline engine to the capital serves a little more, an average of 200 to 250,000 kilometers. The Achilles heel of gasoline engines are motorcraft carburetors, which are difficult to adjust and repair. In this regard, there are often cars in the power system of which DAA Z2108 Solex carburetors are installed. Another weak point of the motor is the crankshaft oil seals, which often leak on old specimens. In addition, the contact ignition system constantly presents surprises. All motors require adjustment of thermal valve clearances at intervals of 20,000 kilometers. The diesel engine is more reliable than its gasoline counterparts. Before the overhaul, it may well go out 300 to 400,000 kilometers. The only significant drawback of a diesel engine is the difficulty of its operation in winter. It is not easy to start such an engine in severe frost, since it does not have a cold start system. Fiesta was equipped only with a manual transmission. The gearbox is very reliable. Problems with the transmission, frequent leakage of the axle shaft seals and the fragility of the gear shift bushings. The oil in the gearbox does not require replacement. The steering is not equipped with hydraulic booster. The source of problems can be a worn steering rack, on which a simple replacement of the bushings will not work. To restore the assembly, you will need to completely disassemble the rail and restore the working surface of the shaft. Suspension is not quite suitable for our roads. The front one is McPherson, in which the bushings of the anti-roll bar will have to be changed at intervals of 10 to 15,000 kilometers. Silent blocks will require replacement after 30,000 kilometers. With minor alterations, it is possible to install silent blocks from the VAZ-2108. This will make it possible to save money. But ball bearings are able to go out about 50,000 kilometers. Damage to the rear brake cylinders was noted. The vacuum brake booster also fails which is almost impossible to get. The only way out is repair, 